you can download the Massums XLS file from the link below this video. First of all, once you've downloaded, click on the file. What it is is basically a Sums Excel file. It consists of three worksheets within the workbook: multiplication worksheet, add, subtract, multiply, divide sums worksheet, and a addition and subtraction special worksheet. This contains the multiplication and division sums as well. I'll explain to you what the each one of these does and how it's meant to be used. The, let's start the first worksheet, multiplication worksheet. To print any of these worksheets, you basically go to the file, print, and you can see the print preview and click print to print that worksheet. If you want to select the other worksheets, again, go to file, print, you see the preview, and basically here you see the sum type as addition, which means these all these sums are addition sums, and the upper value is 100. So you know what to expect for these sums. Let's go back to the multiplication worksheet. And what we have here is a randomly generated worksheet. Uh, it is not an interactive worksheet, which you might think. So if you try to type, what you'll get is a cell or chart that you are trying to change is protected and therefore read only. You're unable to change the values within this worksheet itself however the values do change by themselves so they are it's a randomly generated worksheet that means it's not a static worksheet as you can see right now if you press F9 you can see the sums changing like so so basic principle of this multiplication worksheet is you've got the multiplication sums on the right hand side which a child would work through. On the left hand side, you've got similarities to multiplication, which is adding the same number over and over again. Therefore, adding 11 two times is 11 twos, 22. It's a quicker method of adding the same number over and over again. Similarly, seven twos, 14. <coughs> and below that, you have three numbers. In effect, 6 add 6 add 6 is 6 threes, 18, and so on. 3 add 3 add 3, 3, th three threes and 9, 3 6 and 9. It's basically how it's meant to be used. Further down, if you look at uh, 3 add 4, what we have here is a basic method of adding using multiplication what I would do here in this particular case is double three, three twos are six, and add one more because four is one more than three. So three twos are six and one is seven. Instead of counting uh, three add four on your fingers individually, you could, once you learn your multiplication table, you could use that in respect, <coughs> in one respect. So if you've had say 12 add 14, what you would do is you would basically select, uh, find the middle number between 12 and 14 is 12, 13, 14. So the middle number would be 13, which is omitted currently, but 12 add 14 is the same as 32, which is 26. And that's how you're meant to be using this. 11 at 13 is 12 twos, 24. It's a quicker method of adding the numbers. <coughs> Similarly here, with a three digit number, you have three, four, and five. The middle number is four, but you've got through, because you've got three numbers here, what you would do is multiply the middle number by three. So four threes at 12. 3 at 4 at 5 is basically 12. What you would have, the reason you would get that is if you take 1 from the 5 and give it to the 3, that you would have 4 there and 4 in the place of 5, which gives you 4 threes. <coughs> 
Similarly further down you've got 6 add 7 add 8 is 7 3's at 21. Again with 4, digit, four numbers 8 4's 36 at the bottom. That's basic concept for multiplication then you've got the standard multiplication sums on the right hand side of that worksheet. Press F9 till you feel this is the sort of worksheet that you want to print then go to file and print this worksheet. A more advanced worksheet is the second worksheet you've got add subtract multiply divide sums here where you've got basically you've got a sum type you've got addition sums only you've got subtraction sums only then you've got addition and subtraction sums only and multiplication sums only division sums only and you've got addition subtraction multiplication division sums so you've got a healthy mix of all the sums at the end what you've got have also on the fur further right to that sum type you have the upper value set to 100 select the upper value for addition and subtraction sums so what you have here again it's a max maximum value is 100 you can basically reduce that to say 10 so the addition and subtraction sums range from 0 to 10 in this case as you can see that includes 10 as the value of the sum addition sum similarly for subtraction that value is used again as a subtraction sum and it's generated randomly each time if you need to regenerate the sum you just press F9 like you would do on the other worksheets it's a set standard <coughs> But uh, what this allows you to do is learn your sums up to 10, addition and subtraction up to 10, then uh, you can increase it possibly by 5, learn it up to 50, addition and subtraction, then possibly up to 50, and build your mental arithmetic in that form. So let's generate a addition and subtraction sum up to a hundred now the way you're supposed you're meant to be using this is possibly explained on this worksheet far better but um, <coughs> the way you're meant to be using this is basically adding your tens first then you're adding your units then putting the tens and the units together as a whole similarly for subtraction you either counting tens from the uh, second number up to the first number and answer the question <coughs> what else do we get uh, multiplication sums are standard multiplication between 0 and 12 times table there is no difference on these sums uh, division sums again it's a standard division between 0 and 12 times multiplication table so it's basically the opposite of multiplication and there is no extra difficulty in that whatsoever and you can generate a healthy mix of all the sums so you've got division multiplication subtraction addition addition all the sums range randomly again and these signs change as well randomly so that's that middle worksheet the more advanced worksheet is the third worksheet where you've got addition and subtraction special what you have on here is the range is the upper value range increases from 10 50 100 to up to a thousand so what you will get is a bigger range of numbers in here whereby you'd be using larger numbers to add and subtract quickly and efficiently <coughs> let me just stick that back to 100 so let's have a look at uh, how this differs in particular in terms of multiplication what this does in terms of multiplication is you have larger numbers and these I believe range up to and including 40 so 
again you'd have sums like 40 multiplied by 7 or 34 multiplied by 8 again these are better handled in the sense that it's 30 multiplied by 8 add 4 multiplied by 8 and you can do it in, uh, as a form of mental arithmetic without having to write the sum down however if you print the worksheet out what you do have here is a enough space for you to break it down and then write the answer across here then use use the technique that you've learnt on the left hand side and apply it just to write the answer straight away on the right hand side <coughs> what else do you have uh, well we have the division sums that differ slightly in this worksheet in the final worksheet what you have on the division sums is remainders in this particular division sum you have remainders as well as uh, exact divisions so if you were say dividing certain numbers you may have um, exact division or a remainder so let's say pick uh, 29 divided by 8 8 threes at 24 8 fours at thir 32 um, 8 threes are yeah so it's basically 3 at 24 remainder 5 so that's basically how the difference between this special worksheet and the standard worksheet which is the second worksheet so that's how this one differs and it's uh, it's slightly more difficult than the other worksheet but it in structure and in the form is exactly the same so you, you wouldn't find it any more difficult to use within a classroom or at, for your child at home but again pre by pressing F9 randomly generates the sums as you wish and then print the worksheet you, m you will not be able to add any extra worksheets because I've protected it and to make sure that you cannot add further worksheets to this document but uh, if you like this worksheet click like and you can download the worksheet from the website link below it's, a, it's called math sums xls file it will work for basically office 97 2003 and office 2007 and office 2010 as well